Hi, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. I'm show you today is basically going to build a deck, uh, deck slash dock. Um, what we have right now is the first part of our dock removed. It's going to be about 16 feet by 24 feet wide. Uh, I was going to basically start it up here, starting right here. It's going to come out to the edge of this deck here. It's going to go 24 feet this way and meet up with this part right up here. What I've gotten so far is I've gotten my lumber. I've got two by eight right here, and these are 12 feet long. I have 26 of them. Then we have some four by fours. They're eight feet long, and I have 36 of them. Uh, what I'm going to basically be doing is putting a hole in every four feet. Um, we have some extras, but it's good to have extras. If I don't need them, I'll just return them. Putting a, a hole in every four feet and uh, digging the post down, putting concrete on the bottom of the post and around the bottom of the post. We have the concrete mix right here. We have 36 bags of concrete. Um, and so basically we're going to go over this concrete structure right here on top of it. It's not going to hurt it. Uh, when the lake is up, we're in the spring right now. It's not that high, so uh, it, that actually won't be in water. Maybe when the waves come a little bit. The, the water's going to raise up probably about two, three feet uh, when it comes about summertime. So this is the basically the first part, just getting all the components together. Um, came to be about $1,000 in parts from Lowe's. And this is just the first set. We're going to do a cedar decking on top. Um, so that's going to look really nice. I'm going to stain that too. So I'll show you guys the different parts of building it as we go along. Um, this is the 36 post we have here. And this right here is just like your jet ski. Um, mount here to get it out of the water. We'll attach that to the deck at a later point. And here we've just pre-dug a hole down here just to see how high the water table is and what we're going to have to do tomorrow when we're going to start building uh, the foundation of this deck slash dock here. All right, this is Nick. This is uh, day two. Today we got our pole digger machine here. We rented this from Home Depot, it's about 66 bucks a day. Um, that's gonna make it nice and easy to dig right there. Dig the post, I'll show you how to do that later. We'll get some more supplies. This is gonna be from the bottom of the three foot holes we're making. And the water's filling up, this will give it a nice form. We've got some table full of tools here. Uh, we got our bolts, washers, nuts, all that stuff right here. And we'll show you how that's gonna work. Drills, sawzall, saw, uh, measuring tape, spray paint to mark the holes, screws, and these are some fasteners here. So as we go through, I'll show you how everything goes. Alright, so what we now have is the out perimeter marked out, 17 feet by 24 feet long. Uh, the reason we did is we can check the level. Just make sure we, we get the posts inside of the area here. Get the level right here. You can see it's showing good level. Got it going all the way around. So the next part is going to be marking where the posts are. Uh, make sure there's nothing in the obstructing it. And we'll show you that part next. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Watch that too if I put it Ready? I'm gonna put that two by two the two before. Yeah. That was dangerous. We twist and this thing's gonna Alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure where we're gonna next post. So we're doing four feet apart using this board as a guide. Bob's gonna put it right in the middle of that post there. Got four feet right here. Take our spray can, mark it. 
<laughs> right here, right in the middle. And that should be good. Double check. Yeah, four feet right there, perfect. Okay, as you can tell that we have the different posts right here all lined up. We have these screwed in just to keep everything level. As you go down the rows, four feet by four feet by four feet. Yeah, a little bit more to me maybe. Okay, good. Right there, perfect. Just gonna drill the hole now. That's why he wanted to. Yeah, little uh, yeah, killed you. He wasn't worried about you. So now that went down about two feet. So we're gonna go down. It's about three feet, which is the frost line. Do the last foot manually, and then what we have is a one foot cardboard tube. We're gonna put that down. Guys, swear yet? <laughs> no. And then we got the post. I'm gonna set that in after that. You gotta go a little more. Okay, now we got this board right here. We're gonna make sure this is flat against here. We're using this as a guide. Uh, and we Nick, take our level. Yeah. We're gonna go a little bit to me. Same. We get that level right perfect. No, that was the other side. Other side. Uh, no, yet yeah, towards. Trying to figure out which way. Oh, it right, right there is perfect. Oh, we're way off the board. Here. Okay. So we got to. Oh no no no! The, right there, right there, right there. I'm, I'm good right here. What about you? Good right there? I can move it back. Okay. Okay. You hold. Where you holding the level? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get a cardboard bag now. Ah, uh, I think we get a thing of concrete, and then I'm gonna do the screw. Oh, you're gonna put a board like that. Back concrete, put it in. And do that kind of quick. The water fills up quick. Okay. So a bag of concrete here, and then we're gonna just double check the level. Double check everything. This is nice and level against here. This is flush against here. This is level here. See, let me look at those thing bombs you're going to put down here. Good. Yep, perfect, perfect, Good. nice. And what I'll do is I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get. Um, yeah, I'm going to need another 2x4. Just as a holding board. <laughs> to get it nice and pushed out here. I'm gonna have to knock this board down. What you could do is put this two by four underneath that one because you're going up and yep. up. Yep. Okay, let's you do that. Me? Yeah. I'm gonna get uh drill and some screws. Don't, yeah, okay. Well, you're gonna have to, you can let go of that and you can give me a hand with this. Uh, kind of need this to keep the thing straight, don't we? Okay, let me see if I can just okay, yeah. hold it with right, one hand. Wait a minute. If you can hold that edge there. Okay, I got both of these. Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. Okay. Just watch out that board don't hit you on the top, so I can only hold it. See? It's better than the top. Oh, it's better than that. Okay. I can take that. Just throw that off. Yep. Alright. Uh -uh. And just 
good, make sure it's not twisted or anything. Now we'll just double check everything's level again. And we're good. We'll go to the next post. Now we can take this board off. You want to take that? Yeah, we can take that board off and we can use it to the next one. Step on the rest. Oh, oh, do we move it? Check the level again. All right, here we're gonna do is our next hole. What we do is we're gonna measure four feet from the middle of this post. And we got this here, so four feet. Take a spray can, mark it right here. <laughs> we're not gonna spray the tape. And we're gonna just check this. This should be 52 inches off, oh. and that's gonna have to come in a little bit. How so let's do gonna. How do we do that? <laughs> well, it's gonna be the middle of it. 52, and it should be on the outside. Let's twist it or something. Okay. That should be the middle. So when we dig that down, we'll have to uh, just remeasure again, make sure it's right. Alright, so this is day two. First day we just got the wood, the first day with the posts, installing the posts. So we have one post, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen posts, so about halfway there, um, a little bit more than halfway there. Each one we dug down. Uh, so basically we dug them down. I'm going to be cutting this off. This is just extra. And we're going to be doing kind of a little turn on the end here. And so we're going to be basically going down the middle of this. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll show you tomorrow as the day progresses. See how everything ends up on day three. And it'll probably take about a week to get this finished. All right, so we finished uh, putting all the posts in. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five rows. Top of the concrete, we just were wrapping those in concrete. Now what we're gonna do is put the boards on the other side of the posts, drill a hole and put our bolts between them. And then we're gonna um, do some more structural support. There we go, cutting through. So I'm butting up the two 2x8s two right here. I'm gonna pre-drill a hole right here. Just so it doesn't crack. And the 2x8, if I didn't do this, over time, it would definitely crack. So now I'm gonna get a couple screws. Got a screw gun. I get it preset. Level okay. here. Try to put it in the middle. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll take it in the middle. Okay. Nice. So we'll go to the other side now. Get that to the right height. This is not near the end, so we don't have to pre drill this. Whoa, look at how crooked this boy, wait a minute. This is a crooked, <laughs> crooked, crooked board. Crooked get this for height right, it's perfect. Nice. And get one more 
supporting screw here. Pull in. And then the last well, that's supporting that's screw. Alright, so we have the top pieces cut off. We have the end piece connected. We got the screws in on the end piece here. This is kind of coming together now. We still have to cut this end off over here. Um, but it's looking more and more like a deck, so that's nice. We just chop these pieces off, drill these in, drill these in. I'm sure, it's going to be flat. We're going to sand these down tomorrow. We're going to still have some more boards going in the middle here. You'll see that tomorrow. And we've got some cement in here. This is the upper section. We cemented these in um, top here. And this is perfectly, should be perfectly level when we come out to the deck right up here. So as we go out to the deck, this whole dock part, deck's part, should be level. All right, so we get the end of the third day. Um, I'm just going to show you here what we have done. We have the two by eight boards on each side of the post. Um, I started on the left side here. Now we've attached an outside post for support. Um, again, each outside post has three screws in it. Um, we, as you go down, there's screws currently in each side between the posts, but tomorrow I'm going to be adding these lag bolts and um, that's going to give it extra support. You can see there's a washer here, bolt here. It's going to make it super, super, super strong. Then we're going to be doing an uh, outside board here and doing a little bit of an angle at the end here. That's why the end has this kind of odd shaped angle. I'm going to give the outside a nice rounded shape and going to be connecting the deck to the dock portion. Uh, that'll be one of the last things we do actually. Um, so this is just going to give you an overview of how it looks on the second day and basically going to be going right up to here with the deck right to the edge here. Once the deck's, deck's on, we're going to be putting some more center posts in here. That'll be coming more tomorrow because this distance is way too far wide to put any planks on. And we'll be coming right up here to the steps uh, decking. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to take my saw and I cut the edges off here. I've already drilled my lines. Make sure that it was nice and squared. So once I cut these edges off, I'm going to add a 2 by 8 board here and cap the ends off. Start from the bottom, line up your laser, and we're going to go right up. Sometimes it might bind. If you have a second person to help you, it's a little bit easier. Um, but if not, you can just take it off. And we can just sand that, sand that end off. If it binds, don't fight it, because it can hit your saw and um, really mess you up. piece off this. Start from the top and go down if you're by yourself. So what I'm going to do now is drill two holes in my lag bolts.
I just want to show on the video here how to do it. So we got the bolt in here. Nice and tight. And just going to show how we do one. Yeah. <laughs> Bolt here. All right, so this is uh, the beginning of the fourth day. We have the bolts in. Yesterday we had a lot of rain, so we had to cut short early. But I uh, put the bolts in a lot of these here. Got the edges cut. Um, basically, I'm gonna be putting this plank up right here to the nice angle and then going straight down here and adding some more supports. Um, got that dug a little bit more, so we'll uh, go along today. What right, I'm doing now is I'm putting a metal corner brace in my corners just to give it extra added support, um, keep that nice square. So we just take this here, drill it in. Just, you, know, you know, not let the wood pull away. I already have screws going in like this, but this is just gonna add extra support um, at the corners and that's where you kind of need it most. So that's important to do. And then these uh, screws we're using are deck screws. They have the plas plastic coating. So they should not rust, although they do over, oh, over time. But still better than your standard screws. Not rust. Okay, I'm going to pre drill these holes in this corner. The corner piece. I'll Edge oh, yeah, out. Yeah. He's pre drilled. do is go at the opposite angle. We got this drilled in for tightness straight in here. I'm going to go at this angle, give it that extra power. And you just screw down here, check it. You don't want to go out here, that would be bad. So we'll go something like this. And you can pre-drill. Make 
sure you pull in on the board as you tighten. There we go. Nice. Nice tight connection. Got screws on both sides. This is solid, solid, solid. Alright, so we got the outside of all the deck now marked and set. So all that's left now is the inside and the top cover. So if you look here, we just finished this corner, corner piece right here. And you'll see what kind of design we do when we get the cover on. Alright, so now we got the uh, center piece in. What I'm doing here is blocking in this off. The rack is right here, the rack is right here. And then we put the planks on. You only have about 12 inches to 16 inches apart um, between the boards so we don't have any kind of sag. So we're going to go through now and do that to all our boards, get a nice uh, no here. Okay, we're at the end of day four and basically we now have, see the cross beams, you know, the end pieces done. So we can walk over here sanded the top of these boards down to make them level if there's any problems here. Sanded all these down. We've added the first two lines here. You can see you have the cross beams. Give this some extra support right here for stability. And it's very solid now. So we're going to be laying the deck right on top of this. But we're going to need to do two more, three more rows. And um, yeah, it's coming along nice. And then we went on the outside, just got some cleanup here work to do. We went on the outside, connected this to give it a nice angle. 45 these two, connected that with a 45. And what we did was tongued it in here, tongued it in all here so it's nice and solid and gave it some extra supports here. Tongued it in here, there to this, then down here. We added this little section, and you'll see the final design, but it's basically going to swing out like that, come down, swing out over here, give a nice bend, and come in. And then when we redo the dock, we're going to add a piece out like this. Give it a nice smooth design. All right, see what we get done tomorrow. All right, so this is um, day six. And basically, we got the top decking now. Now we have cedar planks, 12 foot. Um, there's about 440 square feet of this cedar decking. It's about $12 a board. They're 12 foot long boards. 12 bucks a board. And it came to about an extra $1,300 for all the decking, some extra materials, some shims, and we got some screws. Um, so that puts the total price of this deck at about $2,500 cost parts. Got a couple extra two by eight foot pressure treated planks. Um, actually the 12 feet, the two by eight inch. And that's gonna basically give us the rest over a middle bracing between these two pieces here. So the whole thing should look like this when we're all done. And then the angle we're planning on going with is basically this diagonal angle right here. We're just going to need to check to make sure that's stable enough once we screw everything down. But that's going to look really nice. And we're going to stain the cedar decking uh, with a stain. Give it a little bit better UV protection and just make it look really nice. Alright. So we'll show you what we do today. So what we're doing here now is getting some cross braces like this right in here to get some strength. So what we're going to do is take a board like this, go down like this, mark underneath, and then we take a T-square here, line it up, mark down here. What we're going to do is get a saw and cut in the middle. Uh, not bind up on us. This means can hold it for you, that helps too. There we go. There we 
we go. Now we check the measurement. If it's a little tight, that's perfect. That's nice. And now we're going to screw that in. Pound it down to the right height. Hammer it. Square, flush with the other boards, so we can hold it while the person drills it in. Nice. Now this side's a little bit trickier because we have the two boards together. I still want that flush. You gotta pull it up sometimes. You gotta pull it up. What we do is tack them underneath too, but in this, because we have the concrete here, you can't really do that. If you get another screw in, that's great. If not, you could tack from the other side over here. All right, so we got the finally we have the, the foundation built here. Now it's going to get ready to put the top on. We're going to lay it out just to see how how we like it, what angle we want to give this. I'm thinking of this angle right now, see what we finally go with in a little while. I'm going to lay some boards out. I'm going to step on it, feel how sturdy it is. Obviously, they're not screwed down. And we're going to be putting spacing between the boards. But um, this is uh, the foundation, so that's a huge part of it. All done. Now we just have the top to do. Screw it down and stain it. All right, so we're getting to the end of day five here. We got the foundation down. And we've laid a couple of cedar planks just to see how it's going to, to go. Basically, we're having all the screws lined up along our foundation. And you can see this is the end piece that we're making. And there's gonna be some boards hanging around here. We're gonna do a nice edge carved, come along here. And we'll wait to do that to the very, very end. Um, so it's coming along nice, very stable, very sturdy. Um, to, to do our screw holes. I'm just using this board here. I have a couple marks so all the spacing is nice and even as we go down. That's one little trick you can use. And got the drill. I got the star screws. So you go right down. Zip, 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 zip. And where the two boards are going to intersect, I have this kind of design going on. Crisscross. So it's going to look nice in the reason I'm doing that, as you can see here, each board is going to touch here, and you're going to have a piece touching here. So it's going to be very, very solid that when you push down on this, like this board is touching here, and these two points, it's not moving at all, <clears throat> and you just don't want anything when you're stepping on it. You don't want to fall through, obviously. Uh, so where your two boards are intersecting is something that's very important you have to think about ahead of time. So tomorrow we should be getting the rest of the boards on and we should be doing our edge carving around here and um, hopefully staining but I'm not sure if we'll get to that. Alright, we're going to just do a cut here just to test the saw, see how the blade is. You actually want a finished blade on these nice cedar pieces of wood here so that you don't want the edges to crack. And on the saws, you always have a finished side and then an unfinished side. So you gotta kind of figure out which side that is. Also, if you come straight down, versus pulling to towards, it's a little bit of a nicer cut if you can fit it. It took me digging through the entire cabinet. I'm getting these two uh, level right now. I was thinking about that. And I'm going to go in the middle of this. Middle of this. Oh, Line it up. <laughs> these. Okay. 
Yeah. Line it up, make your marks. Okay, now we're gonna screw in for spacing. Drill it in. And important to do, start at one side and go down. Don't do your two ends. Don't do this end and that end because you can do a buckle. So just work your way down. It's a slower process, but if you don't, you can, and we have done this, made a buckle in the board. Which is then more work. All right, I'm gonna cut this piece off right here. Cause this is hanging off a little bit. Shake over here. Zip this right off. fits now. It's not good for height, but I still need to zip a little bit of this off. It's too tight. Go back. Need to do a part. Now it fits down here. What I'm gonna do is put a molding at the very end to hide any of the jagged edges, any pieces like that. All right, a little bit more than halfway done now. And you can see how we have the pieces coming together here. I have one tack down, leaving about a screw's width apart. Um, still hasn't been tacked down. I'm gonna be sawing this end off going all the way down at the very end. But it's coming along pretty nicely. I have a long piece, a short piece, and another long piece. Um, just because we can't fit two 12 footers, it's more than that would reach. All right, getting end of day six. Almost have all the planking. I was hoping to get it done, but we're a little short in wood and a little short in daylight. So basically, up to this point, uh, still need to cut the outer edge and stain but a good amount of it is done. So, edges are nice. Um, it's got a nice clean look to it. So, yep, this is end of day six. All right, this is day seven. What we do today is get the last part of this deck on here. Um, then just check everything for, for secureness. And we'll zip the outside of this deck here, um, having a nice clean edge on it. And then we won't see it today because it looks like it's going to rain, but um, we'll just check any, anything else for security and probably connect this deck to the dock. Okay, we've just finished doing all the top decking. As you can see here, uh, I went right to this step here. We had the concrete was pushing up a little too high to make it even. So we decided to do, we're gonna make a bench, a nice uh, cedar bench here. Uh, it'll make it look real nice and then I don't have to worry about the height. So we got going right to that stair. I'm gonna be putting a molding right by that stair there and a molding on this side so you don't see these jagged cuts. Um, and you always wanna leave a space anyway on the outer edge for expansion with wood. So. It's going to be the, the best of both worlds. What I'm doing now is we're going to have a nice cut um, right down the edge here. And you can see I started doing it here just to see. I have my finished blade on the saw, but just to see if there'd be any marks. And it's come out really nice. Once that's cut, I'm going to sand that end. And over here on this side, I'm going to be doing the same thing, cutting right down here. And as you can see on the outside edge, I now have my board, outside board mounted. It still needs to be cut. And then over here, a couple of boards coming in here. So as, as I cut off, you'll see the design that I'm gonna go with. But all in all, deck's on, so that's awesome.
Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to draw my line to what I'm going to cut off here on the edge. It's important ahead of time if you can cut off any extra pieces here, because if you don't, what it'll do is it'll bind your saw. So I've already done that. Um, now I'm going to draw my line down here, and it's important to not go into your main wood piece here. Um, what can happen if you do, like I did it just slightly here, is you just nip the screw, you hit the nail, if it hits that saw, it'll mess up the blade, possibly kick back, which could be very dangerous. So just leave a little bit of space on the outside. What you can do is just take a hand sander when you're all done and sand it in that, you know, quarter of an inch. But you don't want to go too far away either. So go a distance, you'll feel safe. And, um, and draw the line right down. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I can see that I'm right on the line. All the way down. And then we'll cut this. All right, so we have our first side cut here. As you can see, we came nice and close to the edge. It's one or two spots we can sand down. Um, try not to go over any places and looks really nice so we're going to work on the next side here getting this marked down the edge here and then do the other two sides okay so now we're going to cut down this line here and i'll show you how that happens again most of my boards are pretty short so there should be no tension on the board get our laser lined up and here we go Tension on my cord, loosen that up. Pull it back a little bit if you ever start it again. You know, otherwise it'll bind and kick up at you. Can't reach it anymore. Here and do the rest. All right, now I'm going to cut my out outside edge here. Get a couple of marks. These are just to see what's going on underneath. So when I cut it, I can have a nice smooth sand um, once enough room for sanding. here. Get up on top of the deck.
Cool. Give it a nice clean edge. Okay, as you can see now, uh, basically have all the edges cut now. Go down here and show you. Let's start at this edge. We're going to be putting a molding piece right here just to tie everything together. Put the bench here. Edges are nice and cut. Still have to sand them just to, uh, you know, people get up on the deck, you don't want to cut their legs open. So that's important. Um, Come down here. Now I played around with this, this angle here. After looking at it again, I don't like it. So I'm going to take these boards up and just do a smooth edge sort of like that. Do that tomorrow. Um, you know, you got to play around too, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you just take it off and try it again. Coming down here, got this edge. Do need a little bit more sanding, but this looks really nice. Can be putting a molding piece all the way along here, uh, which again, you won't see any of the cracks. So, yeah, that's the end of day seven. All right, well, today is day eight. Uh, we've pretty much finished all the decking again, and we've also built this seat here. Uh, we have some extra scrap wood, so we decided with it that we would build this deck. Uh, this little deck seat here. So this came out real nice. We wrapped the edge of the decking um, right here, so you can't see the bad cuts around the oops. And we just we sanded this edge here a little bit more, just to make it a little bit smoother. And uh, we, we do this edge. We put a little bit of bleach on the decking itself, just to lighten it up right before we go and stain, which we're going to do today. Connected the deck and the dock together, um, just with a couple screws here. So today we're going to stain. And, uh, after that, we should be done. Now we're going to show you. Six, six years. You can still see the wood grain. The and what do you want to do when you stain it? You know, you have the now, when you go here and you go like this and you do your edges, you notice you had to go this way. Well, that is not going to look good. So, when you finish, when you finish going on the edge. goes with the wood grain, not against the wood grain. If you leave it like that, you're going to see stripes. This way, you're not going to see any stripes. So make sure you keep going down. And you want to try to get one foot done at a time. Going down part of this way, of course. But if I was to keep going halfway and halfway, when this part dries, I'm going to come back this way, there's going to be a line here. So I'm going one board, one board, one board. If I do half and half, I'm going to have this dock stripe going straight up the center of the stain. So you don't want to stain. When you stain, you can keep going like this as you go down and make a constant line. If I was to go here, stop, come back, to wherever you overlap with the line, it's like putting two coats, and you don't want to do that because it, it won't look good. It'll look like you, you know, you've got a big line going down where you put So we came coats up with this little uh, brush idea you know, here to save uh, our backs. And um, basically it works, works sort of like a water roller wood. You can really get in a, we we cracked bleach it and uh, last night and uh, sand yeah. into the wood, which is why you want to use a brush. But just tie a brush, tape it on, use a tie it. Marks onto the end of a from the rain or moisture or anything like that. And you have a much easier way to stain your deck. Uh, and it will definitely stain the deck. Alright, so we have the last board we're installing. It's going to be the curved board. As you can see, I've made these half cuts in here. So let the board bend. I've also soaked the board in some water for a day. So I have my holes pre-drilled. Push this in here, get it screw prepped. Nice and tall with it. Tuck it in. Nice. The second screw. Hole pre drilled on that one too. Go tall. Let's get there. Like 
screw. So good. Let's pour it out a little bit if we can. Okay. Here's where my next one. Just do it just here, tuck this in just a tad. Get this out. All right, so that's the last board here. So you can see now we've got a stain. Entire yeah, deck outside over Just here, outside edges now. Already wrapped, it looks really nice. So, uh, it's looking nice, nice cedar color there. So, it's uh, seven o'clock yep, on day that was eight. about day eight, and the eight day's is working finally on this. done. I was just going to give you a close up now of final uh, product here. So, we have the edges, I've sanded all my edges here. Nice and smooth with uh, stains. This outside, this is pressure treated. We stain that as well. Underneath here, we'll still look underneath. You can see the columns going under here. And these are all dug down deep, deep into the ground, about three feet each. Cut the top pieces off so it's all nice and even. This bench here served as two purposes. There's a big rock bulging out, so cover that and it just looks really nice. Connected the old dock here with the new deck. Um, I'm gonna just see how one coat of stain does on the deck this year, and maybe at the end of the season, give it another stain. Uh, these star screws worked out great, so I do recommend them when you're building this. Edging came out nice, you just keep, remember to zip there and work out, so start from one edge, go out this way. Don't do your two edges and then do the middle, create a bow. Um, this also looks nice over here. Just have this curving in here. And then to cover that, so. Yep, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know.